Today we're moving this tank, my crypt jungle, the rainbow fish crypt jungle, out of this room, the fish room, aqua base, and into my editing room. And this will be the backdrop for future live streams. And it's gonna be really exciting. I have been thinking, debating whether I should leave this tank in this room or bring it into the fish room. I really wanted both. The main reason why I don't want this tank to go into my editing room is because water change maintenance is gonna be much harder. Over here in this fish room, I've got my whole system. I've got all the water. I don't have to dechlorinate because I've got a filter system here that takes out all the chlorines for me. And I have a hose that can go into every tank. So I've got this water change system. My water filtration system right here. This takes out all the chlorines and chloramines. And when I wanna do a water change, I just grab this hose, plug it into here. And I can just turn the tap on, water goes through this filtration system, takes out all the chlorines, chloramines. You can see it's kinked right now, but once I get the tap running, it unkinks itself. Then I've got it connected to this blue hose, which then I can drag to each tank and water change. So that is a quick little tour of my water change system. But inside that room where I edit my videos, I don't have that same system, so I'm gonna have to do buckets. But the nice thing about this is that it's gonna be easy maintenance. I don't have to water change it all that much. I think once every two weeks or maybe even three weeks, as long as I don't overfeed this tank, will be good enough because that's actually kind of what I'm doing for this tank right now. And as long as it's balanced, um, not much algae is forming, I think will be able to do well with this tank in that room. And the main reason why I don't want this tank in this room is because I don't have the space for it. This is a four foot tank. It is nice right here, but in this area of the room, I want to put a couch. This couch right here, right now there's a bunch of stuff on it, but I'm working on some stuff at the moment. So this couch is gonna go and sit in that spot and we can sit down. I enjoy, relax, watch all the fish, watch all the fish over there, and maybe even take a nap. The nap is what I'm most excited about. I just want to sit here, watch my tanks, and then maybe take a short nap while the wind is blowing in through the windows, and it's gonna be nice. And yeah, we're gonna not have a tank here uh, right next to the windows. I was also thinking this is a four foot tank. It could go right in this spot, like perfectly in this spot. This is just slightly over 4 feet, over 120 centimeters, and it would fit perfectly. But I want space to go into the back of my tanks, maybe clean up a little bit. And maybe if a fish accidentally jump out, I'd want to be able to reach back there and pick it up. So, yeah, we, I want some space. So that's why this 2 foot tank is right here at the moment, because I'm, I'm hoping to set it up here. So the 2 foot ADA tank will go here and this tank will go into the fish room and be the live stream background tank and look all the fish are looking really good so yeah i'm kind of excited for this now before we get started i just want to say how excited i am i finally got my tripod back up and running for about two years i was running without a tripod i was missing the little ball what do you call it the little round quick release this this thing right here and I just couldn't use my tripod because if I put my camera on it the camera would just fall off if I accidentally uh, bumped into it so you can see like this little tiny thing right there that attaches to the camera I got that so now my camera you guys are on this tripod sturdy you're not going anywhere so I'm really excited about this but yeah, let's begin lowering the water level down and today we're catching out all the fish um, because because there's just too many fish in there and I don't want them to be stressed out while we move the tank and I've also asked my friend Mr. Morita-san to help me out today he's agreed so thank you so much to him you guys will see him later on but we're going to be lifting this tank up and bringing it into the fish not fish room the, the into my room and I don't know if we'll we'll be able to do it the other day we did it with the African cichlid tank but that was sand and this is gravel and I, I I don't know if they weigh the same amount but I think gravel might be a little bit heavier so we'll have to try it out and hopefully it goes all well so let's begin
So now while we're waiting for the water to drain to the very bottom, I'm gonna try to catch out as many fish as I can. And what I'm realizing now is that later, when I, once I go and fill this tank up in my room, it's gonna be a challenge because I don't have a hose that goes all the way to my room, so I'm gonna have to do multiple buckets and I'm just thinking of how I'm gonna do that. Mr. Morita-san has arrived. Look at him, he's got the skyline. All right. じゃあ、やりましょうか。やべえぞ、このジャリが入ってるのは。見てみる?はい。おお。おお、ちょっと待って。これはちょっと怖いな。ダメかもしれんぞ。量が離したら終わりだからな。これはダメだ。うん、多
levels. It's not really ideal. Uh, the best case would be to have a long level as long as the tank so you can check to see if the full tank is level. But because I've got the small one, you want to check in multiple places of the tank to make sure it's level. And you can see that the bubble is in between those two black lines. So that means it's pretty spot on. So here as well from front to back, you can see that the bubbles are in between the two lines. So I'm pretty happy with how this tank is going. So right now I'm going to slowly start filling it up with water and then we'll get the filter hooked up and we'll add the fish back in. All right, next up, before I fill this tank up fully with water, I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe add a little bit more nutrients for the plants. So I'm going to be adding some of this root tab. Um, I'm not sure what you call this in English, like an Osmocote, I think um, that's what it may be called. I know there's a brand Osmocote that looks something similar. It might not be the same, it might be the same. I've got no clue, but this is what I'm using. So we'll insert some of this around, some of the plants, and then we'll fill this tank up. Now, as for adding water into this tank, I mentioned that I was going to have trouble filling up buckets and doing this because I didn't have the system, the water change system in this area. So what I did was I just brought my whole system into the room. So you can see this is my water change hose and we'll walk all the way. Excuse the messiness here. I was moving a lot of stuff uh, for this move. So don't mind the dumbbell there, but... You can see right here we've got the tap, the water filter here. This is the thing that takes out all the chlorines and chloramines. And then we've got the hose. Oh wait, let's turn it on right now. So, we'll um, open this thing. And I don't want it to go too fast. But let's see if it's working. All right, there we go. So now we just wait for this thing to fill up and soon we can put the fish back in and I've also got to set up the filter so I'm going to do that right now. I've got the filter hooked up. It's underneath the cabinet on a little piece of plywood. Um, that's not permanent in the future near future we're gonna put a plank that goes all the way across so you don't see the bottom and then we'll have the doors obviously so you won't see anything at all and you can see we've still got a little bit to go with filling the tank what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna grab some of the, the, the water that the fish are in and I'm going to add the remaining of that um, and fill this tank up and I know the water doesn't contain any beneficial bacteria It's all in the filter. We've got that so it's gonna be a huge water change for them I don't want it to be a hundred percent water change because I kind of feel that will put up a lot of stress on the fish So I kind of want their previous water what they're used to in with them because the pH might be a little bit different TDS might be different as well. So yeah, I think it's good to have some of the previous tank water in there as well. And I think I might start the filter as well. It's gonna make a bit of splash since the water level is low, but we'll fix that soon to come. And I do believe I primed this, but Alright, there we go. Wow, that is powerful. Holy smoke, so why the filter is going so strong is probably because I did it, I gave it a good clean. So you can see there's a new piece of wool in there, filter wool, and I did clean all the media, I gave it a good rinse um, in the previous tank water, so yeah, you can see that is a fast flow. I'm gonna have to fix that later on.
And so there it is, we've got the tank in place and I can't wait to see how this tank goes in this room. I don't think I'm going to be bringing in the water change system every single time I need to do a water change in here because that thing's pretty heavy and the hose is quite long. But I think I'll be getting a few large sized buckets and be doing maybe a couple buckets every few weeks and I think that'll be manageable for me and I think I'll also enjoy the process. Recently I've been enjoying doing maintenance on my tanks, getting my hands in there and just looking at how my fish are doing so I'm gonna be quite excited. I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Morita-san for helping me today and with the African cichlid tank and also my uncle who made a small appearance in the video He also helped me out a little bit. So thank you guys so much now as for this tank and stand the stand will be need finishing off uh, Very soon you can see I've still got some holes to cover. I've covered the holes in the back um, But I just need to do the holes here and the ones on the sides as well So but this is fun. I really enjoy doing this you just stick some glue in here and you put your wood plugs and then you just saw it off give it a quick sanding and I also have to oil this I want to put some uh, natural linseed oil on here give it a good finish make the wood grains pop a little bit more we've also got to do the doors as well as the side panels and the bottom sheet of plywood so that'll come very soon and I'm excited for that I'm excited to get this whole thing done it'll really be a relief and it'll make me feel better and this is the thing I put on to kind of uh, reduce the flow well not reduce the flow but to disperse it so it doesn't come crashing out at the front glass but you can see there it is giving a pretty good flow one thing I am pretty nervous about is crypt melt my cryptocorins may melt back quite a bit especially the softer leafed cryptocorins I've got some that are pretty hard those ones I think will be okay uh, but the thing is I changed almost all of the water and adding to that when I started the water fill up process yesterday about 10% of the first water that went in was really really warm it was about 35 degrees Celsius I think I wasn't checking the temperature and really hot water went in this tank but after that I got cool water back in and we evened out the temperature so I'm really hoping that not too many of the plants melt back but if they do melt it is normal and the crypts should be able to bounce back with ease let me know what your thoughts are on the setup I'm excited to be doing to hopefully be doing more live streams moving forward and this being the backdrop and this should be more fully grown well I'm going to plant more plants in here there's still lots of empty spaces so I'm really looking forward to that be sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time